Wales. Es wartet die Nummer 33 der Welt. Ein Mann, der schon als Junior, als Nachwuchsspieler sehr erfolgreich war, hat das World Youth Masters mal gewonnen. Hat inzwischen auch zwei Pro Tour Finals gespielt. Mal sehen, was er heute uns zeigen wird. Die Rede ist von Rasta Jamie Lewis. Jamie Lewis tritt an gegen den erfolgreichsten Spieler aller Zeiten aus dem deutschsprachigen Raum. Er hat ein unglaublich gutes Jahr 2016 hingelegt. Ihm gelang der Sieg von Risa. Er stand später sogar im Finale der European Darts Championship. Die aktuelle Nummer 9 der Welt aus Wien. The Gentle Mentor Suljovic. Und Caller dieses Matches ist The Voice, Russ Bray. Well, as the vast majority of the near 3,000 people inside the Sparkassen Arena still come to terms with what they've just witnessed on the big stage here. That astonishing victory for Stefan Zietmann at the expense of Joe Cullen. It's time to focus now on another German-speaking player, the hopes of Mensur Sulevich against Jamie Lewis for the right to meet Kyle Anderson in the third round tomorrow. Sulevich with an ever-improving European pedigree, an ever-improving pedigree, full stop irrespective of where he's playing his darts. But playing a man, Jamie Lewis, who overcame Zoran Lurchbacker's 6-3 yesterday. Dan Dawson alongside me for this one. Uh, yeah. Little caveat on the Joe Cullen, Stefan Seatman game. Mm -hmm. Take nothing away from Stefan Seatman, who finds himself in the final day of action. The feat only achieved by Dragutin, Horvat and Max Hopp, previously by host nation qualifiers, or Germans in general on the European tour. I'm told Joe... He's not feeling well, which might have explained why he'd gone a peculiar shade of green for most of that match. There was literally a bucket placed at the side of the stage for him. Uh, ultimately, not the best player out of the two of them. You have to deal with whatever's thrown at you, even if it's some sort of hideous infection. But, perhaps an explanation why we didn't see the Joe Cullen who won his first title a week ago. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Well... First leg, Mensur Whatever the, the reasons first. behind it, Game on. it will be Stefan Seatman who lines up in the third round tomorrow against Simon Whitlock. What an occasion that will be for him. Whitlock, one of the most popular players, non-German players in this part of the world. And so too is this man, Mensur Sulevich, kicking off with 60. Jamie Lewis, what did you make of his win yesterday against Lurschbacker? Well, I have to say, that's unfortunate. 65. I have to say, I thought Zoran would give him a very good game because Zoran has hit a little bit of form. He's picked up some results on the Pro Tour this year and Jamie has been struggling a little bit. It was a little bit more 100. comfortable than I anticipated for Jamie Lewis, winning it 6-3. But it wasn't spectacular by any stretch of the imagination. He only averaged in the mid-80s and I think he's going to have to up that if he's going to worry Mensor. That's, you know, Mensor not only the number okay. three seed... But at the end of the whole European Tour series last year, he was number two on the European Order of Merit, went into the European Championship as the second seed, and he justified that by making it all the way to the final. All right, got hiding from Michael Van Gerwen, but it was his first major final appearance. Six yeah, it all worked out, actually. Top four seeds, didn't they? Uh, all made the semi-finals in the European Championship itself in Hasselt. Michael Van Gerwen, number one, beating Sulevich, number two, in the final itself, 11-1. One hundred. Mentor couldn't take the smile off his face despite a heavy defeat in the final. He's absolutely made up to be involved. And to justify him, and he beaten Phil Taylor along the way to that final. He's played some superb darts over the last two and a half years, Mentor Sulevic. We've been denied as many Mentor viewings as we might have anticipated at the start of this year because he's been home with his wife, who's been pregnant and not very well. So he didn't play any of the UK Open qualifiers and therefore didn't make the UK Open itself. Obviously one of the big TV titles of the year and one where Mensor would have presumably been a threat. 92. But he's back now, playing pretty much everything. Yeah, recent semi-finalist 
in the Players' Championship and a quarter-finalist as well. And when you look at his European rec record over the last 100. In a few months or so. We'll just see if Sulevich can take out this 89-2 uh, to start things off, by the way, before we delve further into that particular statistic. 20 for ball. Just an extra jiggle. Examining his flights and his stems, maybe. 64. And Jamie, you require 103 100 for Jamie Lewis. Lewis. Double 20. Double 17. Not to be. 48. Then you require 25. So double ten for the opener for Mensur Sulovic. He has to go back up to the fives. Twenty. Couldn't oh, use the first art as a marker. Jamie, you require mm. fifty-five. Well, it's a danger when you go that route that you may end up blocking your path for the double. Lewis looking at double top. Nice open bed. Another nice open bed for the double ten. Game there it is. The Jamie leg. Lewis with a break of throw. Jamie Lewis, second leg. Jamie to throw first. Game on. So, Sulevich losing the first leg, but looking at his uh, recent record in the European Tour, last five tournaments, he's won one, he's made the final of another, the semi-final of another, a quarter-final, and a third round. He's all right. One yeah. of each. Will he complete the clean sweep here and have a second round exit just to give us that nice symmetry we're all looking for? Mensor certainly won't hope so, but he's 1-0 down. Very big in Europe, like David Hasselhoff. One man and forty. And cheese at breakfast. <laughs> Never seen such a an array of choice of cheeses. Before. One hundred. And that local sausage as well. Cold black pudding. Can't face that first thing. Wow. I say first thing more like half past ten. Well, more, <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm right on 20. more of Robert Malarkey's cultural experiences and travels over the course of this game. Not got going here, Mensor, at all, has he? Yeah, the crowd of just, Jamie, you require 141. I think just drawing breath and maybe just having a, a collective breather after that Stefan Zietman match. No, not the one off Jamie Wynne. No real harm done. Give himself two darts for the leg to double his lead to 2 0. And Mensor's just not. The radar's completely off. 95. Jamie, you require 60. Wouldn't be surprised if Mensor just slows things down. He's going relatively quickly for his own usual ponderous style. Game shown the second leg. Jamie Lewis, nothing wrong Jamie with that. Lewis, 14 darts to hold his throw. Game on! Former European Tour semi-finalist Jamie Lewis. Something he achieved. 100! A uh, finalist, I should say, in Gibraltar in 2013. Yeah, beaten only by Phil Taylor, having taken out the likes of Kevin Painter and Adrian Lewis on the way to that final. 21 then, as well. He's 25 now. He seems to One man of 40! Done a fair bit already. Seems to have been around a lot longer, yet yeah, he is only 25. Yeah, he did start young. Look at this, mental averaging less than eight. Let's go. Yeah. 132. And then also made the semis in Gibraltar two years later. That was the uh, point. I was he seems to like playing down there. Yeah. Yeah, certainly does. Down on the rock. We will be back in Gibraltar, of course. 140. 85. European Tour 5 in May. After Zabrucken and Sindelfingen coming thick and fast, the Euro Tour events at this uh, particular time of year. Well Several new venues Fulton. on the agenda this year as well. Leverkusen, Göttingen, Furred Brow Browse from Dan Dawson at uh, Sulevich there. Well, Mensor has hit 140 there to leave 129. Now, had he missed the treble 20, Mensur he would have scored 100, 100 and left himself 169, which is a bogey number. So not only is Mensor not White finding his desired targets, although this might change things. Bullseye. 87. Not to me. 
but he's Jamie not thinking clearly enough right now either. Because Lewis could make him pay here. Treble 18 for Bullseye. Ooh, 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 yeah, the grimace from Lewis. Well, he puts a dent in it, and with and Mentor, not. 42. Well, surely. We know where he's going here, don't we? Oh, wow. he's, he's missed a big number. Is Mentor suffering with whatever was affecting Joe Cullen, we wonder? He is clearly... Game well, shown, the third leg. There we see what That's it means. Absolute. Double 14 comes to his rescue. Full flag, Jamie, to throw first. Game on. Yeah, he just had to uh, tidy that up after that errant first dart straight into the 11, but found his double 14, his insurance policy. 42. Lewis opening with 42, a chance here for Sulevich, but he's started off by finding trouble five. 55! And he hasn't punished, and he's just looking a bit agitated here, Mensur Sulevich. He's not really settled into this one. Okay, he's got a leg on the board at last, but just looks to be bothered by something. Not quite sure what's going on. Well, understandably one agitated, because I don't recall even when Michael van Gerwen was doing an 11-1 in the final of the European Championship, I don't recall seeing Mensor Sullivan play this poorly, throw so many darts without hitting big trebles, missing big numbers. I mean, we've had it, had it all. Gawking around as well, Moors. You know, it does the dying swan thing wow. sometimes, but he just seems to be lolloping around the stage. like it for Mensor. 100! Come, but Jamie Lewis is still in charge of this leg. A couple of good wins in qualifying for Jamie Lewis. Beat Jamie Caven, who admittedly is in some pretty poor form. But Rob Cross certainly isn't. Rob Cross is playing some fantastic darts, and he saw him off 6-3 in the deciding match in qualifying. Yeah, that was the result that caught the eye. Finally won a match at the PDC World Championship at the fifth time of asking last December as well, so that particular monkey is off his back as well. That is in 25, so it's uh, down to a ton. Beat Nick McGowan before a 4-0 defeat by Peter Wright. Can he close this out for a 3-1 lead? Not at this particular moment in time, he can't, but he will 65. be back. Because Mensal is on 2-2-6 and is languishing here. Better. Maybe too little too late, though, from Mensal, but it just might One get the fire started. Well, Jamie Lewis took out 60. 60. Very straightforward manner in the second leg. It's a massive dart he's got. He doesn't even know which way to move to get out of the way of it. He's gone left in the end. Game and back, the full flag. absolutely marvellous stuff from Jamie Lewis, Lewis you have to say. Yeah. To just had a really good look at that, didn't he? And then made the adjustment on the off here and just steered it into the top left corner. 58. Yeah, it's a particularly long dart that Jamie Lewis has got with the stem and everything. And they do stick up in the board. So, it, you know, if you're going for 60... Stick one in the 20. It can block a large 41. portion of that bed. It's a very big target. It's got a big flight as well. Certainly bigger than, say, Mensor. It's got quite trimmed down flights. And it's a double-edged sword, you know. It, it can help you in some respects. You stick one just outside, the, say, the double 18. It can be a huge target to guide you into it. But at the same time, if it's blocking your path to the bed, it can block a significant Fulty. chunk of it. And it's Mensor just starting to find the troubles with a little bit more regularity now. See how clearly he's thinking where he starts on this next visit. He should start on the 19th. 93. 140 would leave a bogey number. So he's starting the 19th. That's where he's looking. So this is better for Mensor. Lovely stuff. Yes, wow. Mensor. Much more Seven like it. Months. Yeah, thinking about it, isn't he? is good from Jamie Lewis though isn't it very good maximum first one of this game 
Mensor, no need to go for the bullseye route here. Is he looking at it? He is. Well, trouble 19 for ball. We'll never know whether he would have gone for the bullseye, but I mean, with your opponent not on a finish, there's no need to go for the bullseye route. I mean, Mentor goes for the bullseye just for lols, essentially. He's a man who's hit a nine darter, starting off with a couple of 170s. 100. Mencia requires 68. I think he'll look at trouble 20, and if it's a single, it'll be another single 20. Well, that'll be double four, then. Game shot the fifth leg. This is much Mensor more like Sulevich. the Mensor Sulevich we know it first. is. Game on. The real Mensor Sulevich has started to stand up in Iena. It's taken him a little while to work his way into this game. I'm not sure there's anything obvious that he's done to change his technique or anything like that. He's not obviously slowed down or sped up or anything like that. You do see Mensor various speeds, and he has talked on a number of occasions about why he does that. Wow, Often slowing down just so he can concentrate. And it does bring the best out of him in many cases. This is good from Jamie as well, though. 139. Kick of the leg. Ninety-five. Yeah, he's just in that travel bed a little bit more than he was. I mean, in that travel bed once is more than he was early on in the game. But Lewis is still there as well. Well, well it's Lewis's time this time to leave a, a bogey number. Mm because he hasn't really been thinking, should have been looking at the 18s. Is that a sign that he can see Mensor coming back into this game and putting him under pressure? Because he's doing this a One lot more oh now, oh Mensor Sulevich. Oh this is more like it from Mensor. Important last dart. Gets him down to 86. a two darter, but Mensor could be about to produce an 11 or a 12 darter to get the break back that he needs and level this up at three apiece. Staying on the 18s. Double seven. 72. Well, you would think Mensor would be good at double seven because he leaves double 14 so often. Unfortunately, he hits double 14 most of the time, so he doesn't get that many goes at it. Lewis will look at treble 10 for double 16. That's a great dart for a 14 darter. Just next door in the double eight. And again, big dart, covering a bit of the bed. He's moved across to try and get out the way. 54. And he didn't collide into it, but it looked Let's as if he was aiming high 14. to stay well away from it. And maybe it was just in his eye line, might have just put him off either way. He's not found the target, and Mensor will come back having another go at that yeah. double seven. And now we see that Mensor swinging the arms and just giving himself a little bit of time. May just have overcompensated there, Lewis. Sulevich further away no score if that camera angle showed it that first Jamie guard was a really eight. good guy for that double seven and he's not got anywhere near the right side of it to use it and Jamie Lewis to re-establish that two leg advantage leg. and just when Jamie Mensor Lewis, Sulevich looked as if something Sulevich. had changed and it clicked into gear and we were going to see the number three seed justifying and underlining his status as one of the top-ranked players in the tournament, oh, top-seeded players in the tournament. He is one of the top-ranked players. He's a top-ten player. And so he's number nine in the world. And with the likes of Chizzy not here, Gary Anderson not here, Phil Taylor not here, he is undeniably one of the top players in this tournament. Even though he's only got one PDC title to his name. Yeah, but prior to those visits on double seven, that was Sulevich's or... Perhaps Sulevich is well, the best leg of the match so far, but he's still lost it. And he's still in grave danger of falling at the first hurdle here. Well, they have played before, these two. One on. Three times, in fact. But every single time, Mensor Sulevich has turned out to be the winner. Played last year in Barnsley, and he won it 6-2. Their first meeting was in Wigan, and he won it 6-0. They did meet at the UK Open. And he won that by four legs as well. 9-5. So whatever the result, 
Jamie Lewis is going to get a lot closer to victory than he has done before against Mensor Sulevic. 58. Maybe he just likes playing Austrians on the European tour, as he's proving this weekend. Well, maybe, maybe he's discovered the secret to his success. It wouldn't be an Austrian that awaits if he did it make will it not. through. It will be kind It'll of be an Australian. Australian. That's the next best thing for him. And he could just cross out a couple of letters and pretend. That's what he's got to cling to here. 100. Mencia require 153. So, this leg very much in the balance, but... Between the ears at the moment, Sulevic has got a big question mark about him. Well, the 153 won't go. Jamie Lewis. Now, 157, it looks a daunting number, but the thing is, the three targets you go in for, one. they're three you go for all the Jamie time. Treble 20, treble 19, double top. And it could be a game winner, but it's not going to happen. But the way Sulevic has been finishing off... Lewis may be back. 52. Well, this has to go, Mensal. Two goes at double 16. Anxious. Game shot in the seventh there. leg. Mensal Sulevich, eighth leg, Jamie Lewis. Game changer, that is for him. Game on. He is still just hanging in there, isn't he, Mensal Sulevich? He won't go away just yet. Jamie Lewis. Still has the break of throw advantage, but he, 81. by equal measure, just can't quite shake Sulevich off here. Needs a, a little bit more something. And you just suspect that Sulevich still has one more chance 58. to turn again here. Well, the big thing, but it's a different stream he is too at the minute, there's not a great deal in the averages anymore. They've come together, there's only three or four points in it. But it's the finishing, and Mensor Sulevic taking it out last well, dart means that he's hitting one in four of his darts at double, and the four key ones, really, that he's missed are all in that sixth leg at double seven. That would have leveled the match. Well, he has been trailing Fulzy. from the word go, Mensor Sulevic. Absolutely nowhere in the first leg. And he has not managed to draw level since then. Jamie Lewis, 83 points clear. It's rapidly diminishing. One on red on Mensor leaves himself a bogey number. And these are the sorts of things, if you keep doing it, most of the time it won't matter. But the one time it does, it could determine the outcome of a game. Such as one this on one here. On Mensor sticks his first two darts in the treble. He's not going to get a dart for the leg. Well, doesn't do it anyway. But he should have at least given himself the opportunity. Mm. And the way he's been finishing off, he needs every Jamie dart that he can as well. as well. Why? Jamie Lewis should get a dart for the leg to go 5-3. May get two. And going to be one. You can see the frustration. 20. Now, again. He's left, moving over to the left. He's going to try and find that top corner. He managed to do it earlier on. Can he do it again? Yes, Game he can. Jamie Lewis. Jamie Lewis. And you can Nine see how satisfying that is for Jamie Lewis. He had a plan. He executed it to perfection. And he's done exactly the same thing. And now, all of a sudden, Mensal Sulevic is running out of legs. And he's running out of time here. He needs to win three on the spin, and the way he's playing, he doesn't look capable of doing that right now, but never underestimate, never write off Mensur Sulevic unless Jamie Lewis can just put the pressure on here with a 1-7-7 to start things off. That will settle him down no end. Well, look, Mensur Sulevic hasn't won two legs on the spin in this game. But Jamie Lewis, take nothing away from him. A lot of the talk, you know, we've been saying is how Mensur has not been to the standard that we expect from him. We expect him to be averaging mid-90s and higher every time he yeah. goes on stage because that's just the player that Mensur Sulevic has become. But Jamie Lewis is the one putting wow. in a very solid display in the mid-90s. And he has hit 63% of his doubles. And that has been the difference. And those ones taking out double top. One for a 60, 60 check out. Well, he's taking out 60 twice on double top, and then that 80 with Mensor ready to pounce and level the game. Huge, huge shots under pressure. 
and he's putting in a very strong leg wow. here to try and get the job done. 124 points stand between Jamie Lewis and a 6-3 win. His first win over Mensor Sulevich and a place in the final day of the Happy Bet German Darts Masters. Mensor. Well, at least he was thinking clearly because Jamie he would have left 164 had he hit the trouble 20, but he hasn't. That means two visits for Jamie Lewis to close this out. Yeah, maybe too little too late for Mensor Sulevich. Jamie Lewis on the cusp here. Absolutely brilliant. He's looking at double eights. One hundred and eight. Very nearly finishing it off with a 12 dart leg and 124 checkout. But Lewis will come back. And having hit five darts out of nine at doubles in this match, Jamie Tony Lewis, you expect, 16. should close this out for a 6-3 win in his first ever victory over the number three seed Mensor Sulevic. Double eight he wants. Can he use that or is he looking further up the bed? He was looking further up the bed, and now he's looking at double four. Took this out in leg six. Can he repeat the trick? Eight scores. Not right now. Mensur Four match darts missed by Jamie four. Lewis. Mensur Sulevich can really, really hurt him. And what a psychological blow this would be. And it could happen. Double 12. Mensor strikes a man who has been struggling on the doubles right the way through the game takes out 104 to close the gap it's only a holder throw Jamie Lewis knows that this is the leg where he has to win it but after putting in such a superb leg to get those opportunities to win it in the last one he is kicked 20. off with oh, 20 that's I mean firstly that is just such a typical Mensor Sulevich thing to do that very little sign of Mensor producing a moment of magic like that, but he takes out 104 and wow. he's got a bit of a cushion here already. That could have been better, but Jamie Lewis, 20 points on the board so far, desperately needs to make up ground here with some trebles, and so far he's not found one. 60. And a little dip of the head as he makes his way back up to the board to collect his darts here. Sulevich, can he kick on and press home his advantage? It is ridiculous that in this 100. in this game you can go from having it in the palm of your hand and absolutely flying and just a couple of darts later, or four darts later in fact, Lewis misses his final one at double four, Mensor takes out 104 and then all of a sudden Sixth. one man is absolutely flying and is the one who was on the floor a moment ago and Jamie Lewis muttering to himself, it's stuck in his head, he knows that he's blown one chance to win it and while he was thinking about that the golden opportunity he's got wow, right now in this leg where he has the throw is already slipping away from him. Mensor down to a finish after three visits. Lewis is 200 points behind. And that is not going to help. Well, I think 45. this leg has already passed Lewis by. Sulevich has just suddenly got the bit between his teeth here. And now Jamie Lewis knows he has to break. And he was only able to do that in the wow, very first leg of the match. Five. Everything else has been a hold of throw. He needs to fire in a maximum just to leave a finish and pressure the 56 for Mensor Sulevich, and that's not going to happen. Mensor is, you know, take your pick, Mensor. Whatever double you want. 16. Mensor, you require 56. The momentum is with the Austrian. Game and the gentle takes out 56 for a 14-dart break of throw. He has the throw in the deciding leg, leg. a deciding leg it did not look like we were going to get. On. He is just so consistent at serving up talking points big stories fight backs drama wow, he is, it's the word we always use the enigmatic mentor sort of it and this is why it's clearly evident once again well don't write Jamie Lewis off just yet because Jamie Lewis when he made that final in Gibraltar Nine a few six. years back he had to do so with a number of deciding leg wins and in at least two of those against Painter and Adrian Lewis. He was able to fire in 180s in those deciding legs that really, you know, for a, a young man at the time, he's still a young man 59. now, just underlined that he does have bottle. But he's going to have to find a couple of big visits here to give himself opportunities, and that is awkward. And I'm not sure he should have stayed there. 59. And it's a trudge to the board, and Mensor Sulevich has this game where he wants it. He has not been in the lead for the entirety of this match. And all of a sudden, Sulevich is just thriving on the demeanour of Jamie Lewis, although Sulevich himself could do with a big 90. number. He's found the bullseye. 
I almost feel like some giant Austrian disappointment vampire feeding off Jamie Lewis's troubles and woes, yeah. which have suddenly beset him. And he starts at double eight and double four in that all important ninth leg. Well, that gets him back in the leg, Jamie Lewis. Huge, huge visit from him. But men saw 180 to leave double 16. Well, it's not going to happen. But 90. trusty bullseye, Mensor, his old soft tip days coming back to aid him. Loves a bullseye and he's left 1-2-2. Two, two. Jamie Lewis, he isn't out of this. This is still there to be won. Once again, he's got a blocker dart. And this time he does switch early. 90. Good last dart. Big, Mensur big dart. Mensor, one treble gets him a dart at the ball. Jamie Lewis, one treble gets him a dart at the double. Flip of a coin this one, but Sulevic. And you know what? He's going to look at the 18s. If he were to hit two treble 18s, that would it'd be that double seven, double seven which again, caused which him the problems earlier. Oh, and well There's hit one, one. But he's missed the other one. But still, an opportunity with the bullseye. Mensor Sulevic misses a match dart. Jamie Lewis knows one treble is enough to give him a dart for the match. He has already missed four. Can he give himself another? Treble 19 has to be hit. But it's not. And that means Mensor Sulevic comes back to the board. And having survived four Mensur darts for a 6-3 defeat, Mensor Sulevic, the number three seed, may be about to scrape through to the final day of action at the Happy Bet German Darts Masters by the skin of his teeth. He had problems with this earlier, didn't he? Yeah, five, he went 5-10 double ten. Double ten and ended up back on the double five and, and hit the original dart. Can he put it right this time? He's got more room for manoeuvre if he needs to. Game but shot. he doesn't need to because he finds Mensur double ten. Sullivan. And somehow, well, I don't think even Mensur Sulevic knows how he pulled that one off. He actually sinks to his knees on the stage. And now he's smiling. It's the first time he's smiled all evening. He trailed by five legs to three. Lewis missed darts at double eight and double four in the ninth leg as well when he was trying to check out on one, two, four. But then there was that 104 checkout from Mensor to claw his way back to 4 5. He leveled the match, and wouldn't you just know as he found the winner as well? He breathes a big, big sigh of relief. And it's Mensor Silovich who goes through to face Kyle Anderson. Jamie Lewis may well be looking at double eight and double four on the back of his eyelids when he closes his eyes tonight and goes to sleep. It's been that sort of occasion for him, missed opportunities. But hopefully but we'll see more of him on the European Tour sometime later this year. Sulevich will see him tomorrow in the third round against Kyle Anderson. Here he is. I must ehrly say, I don't think he won. Ehrly. I was also pretty sure in the 5-3 and in these two match darts that he would do it. But that's also darts, right? Das waren drei Matchstarts auf Doppel 8. Da Jimmy hat das super gespielt. Ich habe leider heute ihn Spiel nicht gefunden. Leider mein Kopf war nicht da, aber ich bin so glücklich, dass ich gewonnen habe. Mensur, trotzdem, das sind die Spiele, die hättest du vor zwei, drei Jahren noch nicht gewonnen. Heute gewinnst du auch mal so ein Match. Das ist auch so der Unterschied und das ist auch der Grund, weshalb du inzwischen so weit vorne in der Rangliste stehst. Korrekt, das ist ja das Dart. Viele haben es nicht im Kopf, Entschuldigung, dass ich so sage. Aber das ist ja wirklich, man ich muss immer glauben, bis letzte Tat. Ich habe immer geglaubt, ich habe ein bisschen dummeinander mit meiner Kreide gespielt. Aber ich habe immer geglaubt, ich kriege noch eine Chance. Ich habe gekriegt, ich Gott sei Dank. Und dann habe ich die ausgenutzt. Ja. Kyle Anderson morgen, dein Gegner im Achtelfinale. Der ist in einer ganz guten Form. Der hat gut gespielt bis hierhin, aber ausgeglichen? Oder bist du dich selbst als Favorit? Na überhaupt nicht. Uh, Kyle ist ein super Spiel, uh, Spieler und ist ein Freund von mir. Das ist wirklich, uh, ich glaube für ihn 60, für mich 40. Ich habe kein Spiel gegen ihn gewonnen, aber ich bin so happy, dass ich heute gewonnen habe. Und am Morgen, ich glaube, bin ich Favorit. Gewann! Mensch, Soljovic! Jetzt heißt es erstmal den Erfolg genießen, diesen Sieg gegen Jamie Lewis aus Wales. Und wir kommen gleich zum Happy Bet Match of the Day. Jelle Klaassen gegen Daryl Gurney. Bis gleich.